Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to cover the euro dollar um, at this point. Reason why is because the long side impetus that you're seeing feed into the euro um, is going to cause a little bit of decision making, uh, I would say, in the simplest terms. Don't forget, if you want to learn to trade, go underneath this video and we will teach you live every day in the Zoom Insider Academy. Um, if you look, you can see consecutive um, lower highs as well as consecutive lower lows. And the market really is just pulling to the downside. Now, as well as that, you do have what is now um, a stronger uh, long side bias coming in from traders. And it threats really the, um, you know, the chance of, of reaching back up to these highs. Now that is happening because of the talk about um, potentially a slowdown perhaps in October on cuts out the ECB. And of course, if you then get the Fed uh, reduced quicker, um, then obviously it's going to detract the investment uh, from the US dollar and feed it into the euro essentially. And you're rallying straight off from these key MAs. So you've got your 20 and 40, importantly, way below, um, at least on your four hour. At this current point, you can see that markets are stalling. Okay, it's not like you are getting a slam dunk into that. Um, and for that reason, it still remains a reasonable short. Um, you know, like I said, you can see this new formed uh, trend coming along. Um, of course, it could be that the ECB don't um, go ahead with that. You know, it, it, maybe they do want to ease cricket perhaps on some kind of data. Or you might see that the US um, or the Fed particularly doesn't want to ease as quickly um, as, as some hope. And of course, that risk environment, that risk appetite would lead you to fall down here. So I do think it's still a short. Uh, I do think that. I think the sentiment case is, is pushing more into the long side bias. And it is a bit, like I said, threatening how large these green candles to the upside are. But nonetheless, um, you have got a really key zone over here if you do want to buy it. Um, if you want to get long, I would say you definitely need a reasonable fall. And this would be very ideal because you'll probably have, as we're on our daily at the moment, you may have your MAs just creep along like this, your higher ones, um, and perhaps get to that kill zone. So that's ideal. I mean, it also is coupled with the fact that if you do take it long at that point, you're going to be about halfway through this uh, ranging market, which again is a very reactive area because if you look historically, you can see there's a reaction there, reaction there, okay, reaction there. There's all kinds of reactions across the board um, and you can see that uh, overall. So definitely think it's short at the moment. If you're gonna short it, I probably would be careful adding again at these highs, 1189. Um, or oh, sorry, 1.119 area, um, because it's only just above where you're entering now. Uh, I would say if you're going to enter again after this point, you may want to avoid doing it there. You could perhaps take some short here and some short there. Um, but yeah, just be wary of that potential uh, upside case for your euro and understand that although you are at technical level, um, it may be skewed by that. So definitely short in my eyes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.